All right, hi, I'm Blake Morgan. I'm a painting professor here at the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma, and this is my presentation for the Festival of Arts and Ideas. So I've, I've just set up a pretty simple still life here, and I'm going to move through the processes, or my personal process, of working on a painting. It would be the, about the same for working in the landscape, still life, a figure. It's pretty much the way that I work. All right, so something that I tell all of my students that it's, it, this may not look all that organized, but I'll give an example here in a second of how it's organized. Um, it's important to have an organized palette. And the analogy that I use is it's kind of like the keys on a piano or something. If the, if the keys were randomly scattered across the board, it would be pretty difficult to, uh, to, to play it. So the same is true with a palette. So in this case, for this palette setup, I've got warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other. And I transition from a warm dark and a cool dark into more vibrant colors as, as it moves across the palette. And also these are earth colors on this side and more uh, intense colors on the other side. So they're like mirror images of intense colors and earth colors. And on the opposite side, so the same is true over here, and then on opposite sides I have complement. So, so for instance, this is the opposite of this, this is the opposite of this. So I can neutralize colors across my palette this way and mix value this way. All right, so that's basically that's the beginning of a painting. Usually with something like this, whether it be a landscape or still life or whatever it is that I'm painting, an abstraction, it's something that it, it, it develops over time. So it takes multiple sessions. And when it gets this wet, you kind of you have to let it dry and then come back to it. But this is, this is the beginning. <laughs>